mom, this is my best bet. <laughs> right, let's take a vote. Who gave the best Christmas presents this year? Do we really have to go through this every Christmas? I'd rather you didn't interrupt, dear. It's important to maintain standards. Now, who thought that Mum gave the best presents? <laughs> right. And who thought that Toby gave the best presents? OK. And who thought Peter gave the best presents? Oh, I see. So you really thought, did you, that a pair of socks, some bath salts and a pop record were better than an expensive compass, D. E. Smith's winter collection <laughs> and a brand new cricket bat inscribed by the entire England Eleven? It's the thought that you ask me. Yes, dear, and a lot of thought went into my presence. I like my CD. It's better than a useless compass. Really? And tell me, young man, if you were stranded at the base of a tour in Northumbria... <laughs> With the rain steating down, freezing cold, would you look to your pop CD to guide you home? <laughs> I think not. Actually, oh, the video Toby gave me. Well, I'm sorry, Peter. We've already taken a vote on Toby's presents. You should have put your hand up earlier on. <laughs> now, your presents are much less expensive than mine, therefore they can't be anywhere near as good. They've been saving their pocket money all year to buy these presents. That's not the point, love. They could have got weekend jobs. <laughs> I work all year round to provide for you lot. To buy you food and nice clothes and send you on holidays. And what do you do? You, you vote against me. Stab me in the back. <laughs> all right, everybody. Who thought Dad's presents were the best? Huzzah! <laughs> so, with the time at ten to four, traditional Christmas arm wrestling. Come on, Toby.